A new chapter opens in the unarmed war between the United States and the Chinese Communist regime. Following the new confirmation of the U.S. Congress with a Republican majority, House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has just confirmed the creation of a special committee in the House of Representatives to deal with threats from the Chinese Communist Party. According to the official announcement released on December 8th, Representative Mike Gallagher was selected by McCarthy to chair the Special Committee on China. Gallagher expressed his appreciation and concern over the matter in a statement. I'd like to thank Speaker-elect McCarthy for appointing me chairman of the Select Committee of China for his leadership on the issue. The greatest threat to the United States is that the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP, continues to commit genocide, obscure the origins of the coronavirus pandemic, steal hundreds of billions of dollars worth of American intellectual property, and threaten Taiwan. Although U.S. politics is sharply fragmented, Gallagher stressed the importance of generating a united, bipartisan front to confront the country's greatest threat. Representative Gallagher currently serves as a member of the House Select Committee on Intelligence and House Armed Services Military Personnel Subcommittee. In addition, he is a former Navy counterintelligence officer and has written a large number of articles on methods to combat the threat posed by the Chinese Communist Party. Gallagher and his team seem to be very prepared to take on this commitment, but what do they have planned, and will they really be able to unify efforts with their opponents and implement measures against the regime? Now we will tell you what they have in mind. According to statements by both Gallagher and McCarthy, the first step in addressing the threat from China is to restore U.S. supply chains and end economic dependence on the regime. To accomplish this goal, concrete domestic policies will be promoted and alliances with partner countries that share the same ideals of freedom will be implemented. In turn, to generate the structures for any kind, the legislators stress the importance of developing new weapons and arsenals to project power, preserve global influence, and protect the sovereignty of countries, including in space and cyberspace. Regarding trade, they raise the possibility of working together with partner countries in pushing for viable alternatives to the regime-led Belt and Road Initiative. The committee also undertook to expose the communist regime's efforts to penetrate with its agenda against U.S. interests, both at the local, state, and federal levels. The committee is also expected to investigate the regime's attempt to infiltrate U.S. academic institutions, specifically with respect to the Confucius Institutes. These programs have been accused of propagating Chinese Communist Party views in university and school classrooms in the United States and around the world. While generally speaking, Republicans have historically led the fight against communism, many Democrats in Joe Biden's administration have also aligned themselves in this crusade. This gives an added measure of hope, and it is hoped that working together can generate enough force for the U.S. to finally corner the Chinese communist regime.